Welcome to the Super Expander Podcast. My name is Corrine Phelps, your host. I'm a business and growth coach, money mindset expert, and a multi-passionate entrepreneur. My journey has taken me all over from working in finance to owning a boutique fitness studio. I found myself burnt out, miserable and questioning everything, saying things to myself like, there's got to be more to life than this. Refusing to settle for a mediocre existence, I went all in, learning how to harness untapped potential and rewire the subconscious mind to create an extraordinary life. The last 10 years have been a crash course in self-love, building a business, creating community, building wealth, and doing what it takes to just freaking go for it. My mission is to help you align to your purpose, Rewire your subconscious to support your big dreams and vision and create a life that you're absolutely obsessed with. So sit back, tune in, and prepare to expand. Hello, hello, super expanders. Welcome back. How are you feeling? How's your heart? How's your soul? Excited to drop into today's conversation where I'm going to share with you 10 signals or signs that your nervous system is dysregulated. And here's the thing, identifying these signs of a dysregulated nervous system is an important beginning to the journey of healing and restoring balance and really combating burnout, overcoming burnout, arriving at a place that you've never experienced burnout again, and stepping back into the driver's seat of high performance and creating the life that you so desire. So a dysregulated nervous system has a profound impact on so much more than just how you're showing up in your business, how you're performing with your clients. It has such a profound impact impact on your body, on your heart, on your breathing, on your digestion. It is a serious health issue if we are dysregulated and we allow that dysregulation to continue. So kind of as a a refresher is your nervous system really is an indicator. It's, It's how you're managing and dealing with stress. And stress is a, it's a chronic health issue, right? It's it's a public health issue at this point because so many people are suffering from chronic, high-level, long-term stress. And when this happens, it dysregulates our nervous system. And if our nervous system is dysregulated and stays stuck in dysregulation, the impact is really far-reaching. It impacts our health, it impacts our relationships, it impacts our performance. And ladies, a dysregulated nervous system will accelerate the aging process. And if I didn't get your attention on that last one, I am not sure what will. And I always say this this one, I'm sure you've heard me say it a million times, is that your nervous system is your money maker. When we are in a regulated state, we are able to st- show up at our highest level, which means that we can earn more, we can create more income, we can start to really live this place of in this place of peace and ease that we so desire to. Okay, so what are the 10 signs that you are dysregulated? And it doesn't mean that you have to check all the boxes to all 10 of those to be an indicator of dysregulation. If you are experiencing one of them, it could be a very strong indicator that you're dysregulated and kind of stuck in a state of dysregulation. All right, ladies, this is the first one coming in. You're constantly on edge and overwhelmed. And I always say this about overwhelm too. Overwhelm is really a capacity thing. It's that we're living or operating above our capacity. And when we start to regulate our nervous system, your capacity expands. So you'll be able to do more, but it will feel like less. So you're constantly on edge and overwhelmed. Is this you? One of the telltale signs of of nervous system dysregulation is a sense of overwhelm. This seems completely counterintuitive, I know, but it's what happens when we are not able to let go or feel like there, we feel like there are too many demands on your attention and energy at any one given time. So you might feel like you can't keep up with everything or you're constantly on edge. You're worrying about what's next. You tend to be stressed out and you're experiencing an ongoing sense of this feeling of overwhelm, even when things seem to be going well. 
So if you have difficulty relaxing, it's difficult for you to calm your mind enough to get into a state of relaxation. If you find yourself constantly worrying or thinking about your to-do list, your future, your relationships, the list goes on and on. Your mind is always looping there. If this is you, this is a strong indicator that you are stuck in a state of dysregulation in your nervous system. And let me preface this. I have experienced all of these on a deep level, which is how I know about them so intimately. This is really all of the reasons why I dove so deeply into this work. And I feel so passionate about sharing it with you is because I spent the better part of, I think, most of my life, but I would say all of my 20s and 30s completely dysregulated. Okay, so the second thing that would be an indicator is that you're frequently irritable, snappy, and reactive. Do you feel like you're constantly on the verge of like snapping or losing your temper or things that really aren't that big of a deal? Your reaction is kind of like extra. This could be a sign that you are not managing emotional stress well. You start to feel frustrated and antsy all at once. So even like the smallest, tiniest things can set you off with an intense reaction because it feels like there's too much sitting on top of you. It's like this pressure is constantly building and bubbling up, which leads to things like that tendency to overreact in certain situations. And it becomes really difficult for you to stay in control of the way you react and the way that you feel. So this can have a really big impact on your relationships and the way that we view and think about ourselves. You might have these thoughts where you're like wondering, why can I not control my reactions and my emotions? Especially if your feelings, these feelings start to swing from one extreme to the other. And so oftentimes, Times when we are snappy and irritable, then we experience these intense feelings of guilt afterwards. Also, you tend to, I don't know, these like shame spirals and cycles ensue after these times of feeling really snappy and irritable. We tend to overreact in these situations and it becomes so difficult for the way, you know, for us to manage and react. We get so easily upset, we're frustrated, we're angered by things and our mood just changes from feeling sad and then into shame. And then maybe we're able to pull ourselves back out and we can feel that feeling of happy again, but then it quickly shifts the moment something, you know, presses on us and we start to feel that pressure again. And I know, for example, for me, this used to happen a lot in my interactions with my daughter and it was putting a huge strain on my relationship with her and we are so close and I would always feel so terrible after us like my certain reactions because I was feeling the weight of running a business and all of my emotions and I didn't have an outlet for it and I was just completely stuck in this state of dysregulation and I didn't even know it at the time I don't know if you can identify with that snapping at your kids snapping at your partner Hello, right? Okay. So number three, the the third thing that could be a really strong indicator that you're dysregulated is that you are experiencing sort of these chronic illness, chronic pain, mystery pain. Oftentimes you go to the doctor and no one can really figure out what is going on. So life stressors such as chronic stress, past trauma, adverse experiences and illnesses can lead to nervous system dysregulation. Chronic nervous system dysregulation can lead to a variety of pain and illness. When left unchecked, left unfixed, it actually can start to create irreversible long-term things like autoimmune disorders. They actually believe that fibromyalgia is a, there's a direct connection to being in a state of chronic dysregulation. So suppose this is you, you've been to multiple doctors, specialists, chiropractors, physical therapists, and it all just only leads to like momentary relief, if any at all. There's no long-term solutions. And I would say if this is you, in this case, you could be experiencing nervous system dysregulation, right? 
You may also be experiencing symptoms and pain flare-ups without any apparent cause or trigger. Like you can't really connect the dots on it. And that's because stress is really kind of covert and sneaky and you can't always connect the dots to it because the stress could have happened many, many months ago, even years ago. And if we stay in the state of dysregulation, this it builds in the body. And I should also kind of throw in here, we don't want to remove stress from our lives. It's more about how we perceive it and how our body responds to it. When we have a resilient nervous system, a regulated nervous system, stress doesn't impact us in this way. It actually you know, it fuels us versus causing these really adverse reactions and health implications. So if this is you, if you have these kind of flare ups or this kind of pain in your body, it could be a signal that your body is experiencing high levels of sympathetic arousal for an extended period of time. And it leads to these physical problems when left unchecked. You might feel pain. You might find that your immune system is not very robust. So you get sick a lot. Um, Even when you do all of the right things, like you eat right, you exercise, you might feel like your symptoms are just never, ever going to go away. And it may just be that you are dysregulated. Sometimes you have trouble, you you know, you don't, you can't get good rest and the pain in your body has your thoughts spiraling and which then further leads to more dysregulation. So I don't know if I am speaking your language, but this is definitely something that I experienced, especially in my, in my twenties, I went to so many different doctors for so many different things. And it was always like, you just could never pinpoint what was going on until I started to get into this work. And I really started to realize and see that these things that I had been dealing with a good chunk of my life actually started to dissipate and disappear. All right. So what is another sign? Number four. You're highly sensitive to sensory stimuli. So your senses are heightened, essentially. You're easily overwhelmed by strong sensory stimuli. So smells, sounds, textures, um, being in big crowds, any kind of sensory input can be tough to manage. You might have been been coined a highly sensitive person. So you have a strong reaction to You find yourself getting easily stressed by small things like clutter, chewing gum. Uh, You become kind of anxious when you experience this kind of sensory input that feels overwhelming for you. Or more aptly put, that you have a very low threshold for sensory stimuli. Things like lights, noises, smells can be super distracting for you and can feel very unpleasant or sometimes even uncomfortable. I'll tell you a fun, funny story. They here in my household have always said that I, I have my superpower is I have sonar hearing and sonar smell. And these were all definitely things. I'm also like highly sensitive to uh, textures too. And I always have been even as a child. So these are all kind of indicators that my system has been dysregulated my entire life. So I don't know if this is resonating for you, whether you are like sonar, sonar senses, but this is definitely a sign of a dysregulated nervous system. I have a question for you. Have you joined the super expander free mentorship community? If not, What are you waiting for? Stop what you're doing right now and text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. Text the word mentor to 202-918-3235. I send out weekly tips and inspiration to help you grow your business, to step into your wealthiest, most highest self, to harness your full potential and live an exceptional and extraordinary life. And the best part is it's really me sending those messages. So text me, say hello, and send me your questions. feel like number five is going to be a big one. A lot of you are going to resonate with this, that you experience sleep problems or daytime fatigue. 
So you don't sleep well. And so then you feel tired all day long and you might find yourself yawning, super sleepy, really groggy during the day and have a hard time concentrating. This is really going to impact your performance, right? So nervous system dysregulation can very deeply disrupt your sleep cycles. So you may go to bed and get eight hours of sleep, but your sleep quality is poor because your your nervous system is dysregulated. I don't know if you wear a wearable, something like a whoop or a aura ring, and that will tell you the quality of your sleep. I actually use both of them and have found that data tracking to be really, really helpful. And another key performance indicator that comes through in them too is your heart rate variability, which I did a whole series a few a few episodes back on heart rate variability and how it's a key piece of regulating your nervous system, expanding our capacity. And these data trackers can be really supportive in that. So if you are, if you don't have one and you want to start tracking that to understand if, if you're fatigued and if you're getting really great sleep, I will drop actually a whoop has been so kind as to give a code for, for you to, um, I think it's $30 off. I don't know. I'll drop it down into the show notes for you. And I actually think I have $40 off of an aura ring too. So I will drop the links for those down in the show notes and you can grab them if you, if this is something that's resonating with you. Yeah. Sleep problems, right? You might be experiencing really on, you know, not quote good rest because you're dysregulated. And some of that could be because your heart rate is elevated. And when that happens, our body temperature is off, which makes it really difficult for us to fall asleep or to stay asleep. It impacts the REM that we get, which is really, you know, when we go into that deep sleep is when we restore and rejuvenate. So the impact of a dysregulated nervous system that causes dysregulated and like not good sleep is such a impact on our health, right? Because that is when your body actually repairs. And not only that, then it's impacting and infecting your performance, right? So you don't have enough energy for your daily tasks and your activities. So then it starts to impact our relationships. It impacts your performance at work. It impacts your motivation. It impacts your body. It impacts your bank account. Number six, it which kind of follows if the sleep pro- is a problem is chronic attention and concentration problems. So if you have trouble concentrating or focusing, you might even have self-diagnosed or been diagnosed with ADHD. It could also be just a thing that is part of your dysregulated nervous system. Having trouble focusing and, and concentrating on tasks is really hard when your nervous system is on high alert. It's really hard to concentrate when your nervous system is scanning for danger and trying to stay alive. So even if we're not in that dangerous situation, your body stays alert and stays in that place and it's alert looking for danger, not allowing you to focus on, you know, deep work kind of tasks or the things that you need to do for your long-term goals. And this could show up in ways like, you know, misplacing things, forgetting things, forgetting to complete tasks, um, losing track of your thoughts, forgetting what you were saying when you're talking to, to someone. Those are all signs that you are in a state of dysregulation. You might even say things to yourself like you just don't feel as sharp as other people. Oh, this one, I was so impacted by this. Cravings and extreme appetite changes. So this is the seventh sign that you might be in a dysregulated nervous system. Your appetite might go up. It might go down. You might find intense cravings for certain types of food, especially carbs and sugar. So you could be hungry all of the time, or you might feel like, you can't, you know, you can never eat enough, right? This could be your body's stress hormone in a constant state of flux. And so your body is trying to soothe itself and to give itself the fuel that it needs. Or you might experience things like binges or even no appetite at all. So if any of this sounds familiar, you're having trouble controlling what you eat, it could be a sign that your nervous system is dysregulated and your nervous system regulates your metabolism. So if you are trying to, you know, on a health journey, trying to lose weight and any of this is afflicting you or you're experiencing this, it could be as simple as trying to 
find ways to bring your nervous system into a state of regulation. Number eight, another sign that you could be dysregulated is there's immune and hormonal symptoms, which we kind of touched on that earlier, but your nervous system regulates every system in your body. So it's one of the most common symptoms of dysregulation is having an excessive immune response to stressors and hormonal imbalances. So getting sick all of the time, autoimmune disorders, thyroid disorders, all are usually stemming back to the nervous system and its state of dysregulation. And this one is such a common one, skin and gut issues, right? So your nervous system and your gut are directly connected. And so often our skin issues are directly connected to gut issues. So people who suffer from things like IBS, rosacea, even acne can be all drawn back to a dysregulated nervous system and what's going on in your in your gut. When we're dysregulated, it causes us to have the microbiome completely off, which then impacts how we absorb nutrients. So a lot of times we are told to reduce stress, but the thing is in a state of dysregulation, just reducing stress isn't going to solve the actual issue. What it is that we need to focus on is bringing this nervous system back into a state of regulation to start to create the resilience and expand the capacity of your nervous system. And when we do that, very often those symptoms start to subside and evaporate. So your nervous system regulates everything from your mood to how you think and how you feel. It is our, it's basically the bridge between yourself and the world around you. And if it's dysregulated, it is going to impact your performance, your relationship. It's going to impact your bank account. So healing your nervous system, taking control, learning how to be the driver is truly the best investment that you can ever make in yourself. I'll share a quick story about a client of mine who came to me in the midst of crippling burnout. She was experiencing extreme bouts of anxiety in the midst of a lot of different things going on in her life, the dissolution of a business partnership. And inside of this, it was actually causing her to really struggle to show up for the other business that she had, which is a brick and mortar chiropractic practice. And all of this was starting to really impact her relationship at home with her husband and her daughter. And so we dove in and the first six weeks we spent moving, moving through this. And then she actually moved into long-term coaching. And from this place in a matter of six months together, we actually removed, she like, she's completely healed her burnout. She has tripled her income in her chiropractor practice. She and her husband and her daughter have now actually gone, been able to like step away, take time away. Their relationship is, is thriving and she's actually working on a second business. So through this, she tripled her income. She eliminated her burnout, eliminated her anxiety, and she's truly thriving all through the power of nervous system regulation coaching. She brought it into her business and using these tools, she started to expand her capacity to earn with ease. If you shook your head to any of those symptoms that you, uh, signs that you might be dysregulated, or maybe you shook your head to all of them. I'm going to drop a link to book a free consultation call with me in the show notes. So take a minute, scroll down and hop on my calendar so we can talk about this and get you back into regulation. And I appreciate you so much for tuning in, for listening. And as always, leave a written review. Here on Apple, if you hit the five stars, but don't leave a written review, they don't actually show the stars. So this is why I ask you and I remind you at the end of every single episode, just take a moment and hit those five stars and leave a written review. It helps expand the awareness of the show and get it out into the hands and the ears of people who might be trying to find us over here in this little corner of the internet. I appreciate you as always. Until next time. 
If you like what you heard, stop, drop, and leave a five-star review and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And as always, sharing is caring. So snap a pic and share this episode with another super expander. 